This is uh, Cheese and Crackers on the Road. We are traveling for work and thought, well, yep. let's give it a shot and see. What else are we going to do? We've got beautiful artwork in the background and a wonderful couch. And we thought, what better way to spend our evening in the big city of Chicago than sitting in our hotel room <laughs> eating food from Aldi's. Oh my gosh. It's not, I mean, I think it sounds... Like we're really living it we up in Chicago. The Windy living. City has nothing on our fun night of tasting food from Aldi. Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, let's get at it. So, just to be clear, uh, we've been friends a long time. You know, our 10 fans know that because they know us. Uh, but we travel a lot uh, for our jobs, and we happen to also work together. So, traveling together is not new. No. Nor should be the idea that we eat snacks. No. It's a very vital part. Hand in hand. Hand in hand. Like, <laughs> it's a, what are you getting? We, we literally made a special trip just to pick out road, road trip snacks. <laughs> to Aldi. To Aldi. On our the, lunch hour. On our lunch hour for this video. And yeah, we told the lady who checked us out at Aldi's that this is what we were doing with the food. <laughs> the lives we live. <laughs> the lifestyles of the... Uh, middle income I don't hungry, know hungry and ravenous <laughs> yeah 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 so okay so it was uh somebody Bra put yes, you it was brought to our attention on Facebook that Aldi now has jumped on the alcoholic seltzer water bandwagon yes and as a fan of alcohol and seltzer water mm -hmm. I was ready to try it yeah, and so we kind of thought, uh, what better way to wind down the work day, you know, like, than taking a video and trying it. We haven't tried it yet, and so um, we we got it to try on video. We also, so we're just so we're clear, everyone. This is uh, got some strawberries. We're gonna pour it yes. over. Aldi's from, yeah, all strawberries from Aldi. From Aldi, of course. And uh, ice cubes from the hotel. Yes. Very fancy. Yeah, very, and just so we're all honest here um when they say you have a key to access every floor you can't just sit on the elevator and wait <laughs> you have to swipe the you key. have to like tap it Aww. so they're like oh no you can go anywhere in the hotel with your key i'm like well clearly i'm already in the system so i don't need to tap to go to another floor and i thought legitimately there was something wrong with the elevator <laughs> it wouldn't open so had to tap the key but we're good now we're good now awesome so all right, right. crack crack out cracking open a cold one with the boys <laughs> Yes. If you know Angela and I, that is top on our list. Yeah, for sure. Just participating in the good old boy system. That, that is from Cards Against Humanity, right? That's where I got that. Crack and open a cold one with the boys. I think it is, it's, yes. It's a card in Cards Against Humanity, yeah. Yep. This is the lime, by the way. Yeah. We wanna... also have black cherry, but that one was sold out by the time we, we got there. All right. Prost. Something. Cheers. Cheers. It didn't even clink. Okay. Cheers. It's expensive <laughs> hotel glass. Probably not cleaned. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Now with the strawberry in there, the aroma is awesome. Because I'm really smelling the strawberry, which, you know, technically if we're just judging on the merits of the if the seltzer is a little bit is a little bit hard. Well, here, it's smell not, it this way. Okay. It's not a bitter lime at no. all. It's like key lime. Yeah, it is. It's very much like key lime. Um, which, compared to some of the other seltzers I've had, this is a, a, a lot more mellow lime, yeah. which I like. And so we, we are also, in my household, very big fans of uh, seltzer water <clears throat> as an alternative to soda and, and, you know, something other than just flat water. And we like the Aldi Bellevue line because it doesn't taste like furniture polish. Yeah. I mean, they, they yeah. sometimes they have that like really, I don't know, fake, I don't know what it is. I just don't like yeah. it. It's bitter, but this is really good. Yeah. I was, I was expect, expecting it to not quite taste so good. It's really good. Yeah. Holy yeah. crap. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Put it That's down. going down real easy. This, this I don't have to drive anywhere this time. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Drink all you want. We just have to work in the morning. 
Uh-huh. So some green pea crisps. Mm-hmm. Um, there's another like name brand. I can't remember what they're. They're, they're said to be made of peas. However, are we sure? They taste pretty pea-like, I think. Mm -hmm. Sounds really weird. Pea flour. Mm-hmm. Not something you normally shout in a crowded <laughs> elevator. <laughs> so, I'm going to tell you a little story. Angel and I travel often for work, and one of her favorite things to do is to um, sometimes do awkward things. So, yes. <laughs> years ago, we were going to a conference and we're on a crowded elevator, like packed in. There's like 10 people in this tiny little hotel, like a parking garage elevator. And of course we have snacks. And I hear, <laughs> and I look over and she's <laughs> having a snack. I had to eat a snack. I knew damn well you did that on purpose. <laughs> It was 100%. And I, I couldn't even look at her without laughing. I'm like, this whole elevator is like, who is this woman eating a freaking snack when it's so packed? That's her. That's why we're friends. Okay, so for real though, this baked pea snack, mm -hmm. these are good. Yeah. They're salty. They're crunchy. They're not Cheetos, guys. They're not going to ruin your diet. Yeah. I mean, you shouldn't really eat a million of them anyway, but... No. They're kind of a good al oh, alternative. They have uh, some protein. They have five grams of protein in them. Mm -hmm. For... And this is uh, three servings. And it's... Well, uh, I can't <laughs> eat a third of this, but... Well, I could. You I could. Know. You should not. No. It's... Uh, how many ounces is it, though? 3.3 .3 ounces. So, it was under two bucks. So, mm -hmm. you know, my kids would love these. They'd think they were great. They wouldn't care if they were peas or not. Mm -hmm. All-time favorite... These are my jam. Pretzels filled with peanut butter. Yes. I really I really like factory tours. And uh, a peanut butter filling pretzel factory would be on my top. Five. I feel kind of like that's like watching sausage being made. I feel like that's really going to look like somebody's pooping in a sausage. <laughs> I still have to know how it's made. You still have to. Yeah, I mean, I could guess, but whatever. So, okay, these are delicious little... Little bite-sized guys. Yep. They are salted, uh, and they taste delicious. Are you trying not to be loud? <laughs> Here, I'll just get it all right. Wow. It's really attractive. <laughs> it's a classy move. I'm just trying to be a good friend. <laughs> Gotta keep it going. Yeah. And this is only good if you do it tomorrow in the elevator with lots of people in it. Okay, well. <laughs> Are you will? I know. <laughs> it's okay. I'll say something really off the wall. <laughs> like, I'll, you know, you, you say the, the checker riff store will be like, oh, have a great day. I'm not even doing it right. <laughs> I can't even get it awkward now. Okay, so these little guys are tasty. They hit that salty and sweet snack craving that you have and they're a little bit more filling you know so a lot of times I take these on a plane if I'm flying somewhere because they will fill me up pretty quickly mm -hmm. if I need a little snack like you know if you have a long flight and you don't want to pay for any of the food on the flight they're pretty handy little guys and they, they do travel. They hold up to heat and stuff pretty well, too. So. Yeah, yeah. That you're not going to be like they're not, mm -hmm. they're not bad. Oh, look at that. Look yeah. Whole new lighting. I know. Um, they are, like... So, let's see here. 24 servings. That's hilarious. If we had another freezer, I think. So, we got these freeze-dried strawberries. So, they're no sugar added or anything. They're just plain old strawberries. They sound like pumice stones. Yeah. Oh, not quite as bad as we had apples earlier today. They're gone. Um, and they sounded like little pumice stones, like tiles. Mm -hmm. They're good. Ooh. Little tart. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I, I could see these on... Um, 
if you crushed them up a little bit and put them on a salad. Oh yeah. As like a crunchy bit to a salad if you wanted a, like a, you know, summer berry salad. Do some blueberries, crush up some of these for a, a crunchy, sweet thing, and then do a bit of red on it. Mm -hmm. You could put these in your seltzer. I know we put fresh ones in, but these would be fine. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Good in cereal. Yeah. Good on yogurt. Mm -hmm. like you could be really super healthy and mm -hmm. get some uh, plain fat-free Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. Still probably pretty tart. It'd be pretty tart. Mm -hmm. But, you know, a little honey. A little honey. Not crazy. Mm -hmm. Also, I have kids. Mm -hmm. This is something they would enjoy. Mm -hmm. If you have a... Oh, this whole thing is 130 calories and 30 grams of carbs. That's actually not bad. Oh, so that's just one serving. This is one serving. I don't know. I couldn't mm -hmm. do it. I feel it's like I would regret it. Just because it would be... They're pretty tart. Yeah. So, here's what I'll say about these. My, I'm going to check in on these and they say, these are great for additions to other things. Yeah. Like good in a, like a uh, yeah. We also have um, cheese down here. <laughs> <laughs> I did I did make sure we had cheese. Cheese down here. <laughs> Keep drinking, weirdo. <laughs> I'm going to do the rest of the video from here. You just introduce it and I'll be back. Here. <laughs> do it. Okay. <laughs> you got to sing the song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is pretty good. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. This it's is the, um, it's red. It's in a circle. I would show you, but I threw it away already. Mm -hmm. The Edom cheese. Mm -hmm. It's like a Gouda. Yep. Oh, good. It's got a nice springy texture. Mm-hmm. Um, really good with fig jam. Uh, yeah. An mm -hmm. aged flavor. Mm -hmm. I think I can taste the aged flavor in it. Mm-hmm. There's a juice. there. I don't know, I'm just dropping it right in my mouth and down in my gullet. Like previously? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a good flavor. <laughs> Just so you know, we have real jobs. <laughs> Isn't this scary? <laughs> Someone employs us. So we are here in Chicago for work. So we brought copies of our book. Um, we are going to be handing those out to folks. Um, they're not probably going to want them and they're probably going to avoid eye oh, contact. Yeah. But we're still going to try our best. To Too bad for them. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad for them. You're getting a copy. Uh, and next time we're going to be making a delicious dessert. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you again soon as soon as we have more things to eat. Thanks for watching Cheese and Crackers. Bye. Bye. One, two, three. Oh, I hit my teeth. Okay, one, two, three. make this weirder? <laughs> okay. We are funny. <laughs>